I hadn't spoken to her for quite some time and we were just catching up. So I apologize for that. I'm very glad that you're joining us today um, as we continue with our Psalms. We get two beautiful Psalms for this evening. Psalm 22 and probably the one that is most famous, most memorized uh, by most people, Psalm 23 or the th 23rd Psalm. Before we begin, let's just quiet our hearts and our minds. Let the day that has passed wash away. And let us be filled with the Holy Spirit. <coughs> Psalm 22 is probably one that you've heard of. We hear it on Good Friday. It is the psalm that Jesus recited from the cross on his crucifixion. So let us begin. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And are so far from my cry and the words for my distress? Oh my God, I cry in the daytime, but you do not answer. By night as well, but I find no rest. Yet you are the Holy One, enthroned upon the praises of Israel. Our forefathers put their trust in you. They trusted and you delivered them. They cried out to you and were delivered. They trusted in you and were not put to shame. But as for me, I am a worm and no man, scorned by all and despised by the people. All who see me laugh me to scorn. They curl their lips and wag their heads saying, he trusted in the Lord, let him deliver him. Let him rescue him if he delights in him. Yet you are he who took me out of the womb and kept me safe upon my mother's breast. I have been entrusted to you ever since I was born. You were my God when I was still in my mother's womb. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, and there is none to help. Many young bulls encircle me, Strong bulls of Bashan surround me. They open wide their jaws at me like a ravening and a roaring lion. I am poured out like water. All my bones are out of joint. My heart within my breast is welting, max, wel melting wax. My mouth is dried out like a potsherd. My tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth and you have laid me in the dust of the grave. Packs of dogs close me in, and gangs of evildoers circle around me. They pierce my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. They stare and gloat over me. They divide my garments among them. They cast lots for my clothing. Be not far away, O Lord. You are my strength. Hasten to help me. Save me from the sword, my life from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth, my wretched body from the horns of wild bulls. I will declare your name to, the brethren, to my brethren. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise you. Praise the Lord, you that fear him. Stand in awe of him, O offspring of Israel. All you of Jacob's line, give glory. For he does not despise nor abhor the poor in their poverty. Neither does he hide his face from them. But when they cry to him, he hears them. 
my praise is of him in the great assembly. I will perform my vows in the presence of those who worship him. The poor shall eat and be satisfied, and those who seek the Lord shall praise him. May your heart live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn, return to the Lord, and all the families of the nations shall bow before him. For kingship belongs to the Lord. He rules over the nations. To him alone all who sleep in the earth bow down in worship. All who go down to the dust fall before him. My soul shall live for him. My descendants shall serve him. They shall be known as the Lord's forever. They shall come and make known to a people yet unborn the saving deeds that he has done. And now let us say the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. He revives my soul and guides me along right pathways for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil, and my cup is running over. Surely your goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Beloved, I thank you for joining me this evening on this fourth day of June. Please join me again tomorrow morning at 7.30 as we continue praying the Psalms, beginning with Psalm 24 on page 613 of the Book of Common Prayer. May you have a blessed evening. And may God hold you in his arms of love and peace, grace and compassion all this night. May his angels guard you and keep you safe. Amen.